Thomas. Now this one I reckon would be the right size for you. So if we can just get you there. After finishing my uh, high school studies, I went to university where I studied civil engineering and I stuck that out for three years until I realised that uh, it wasn't for me. How's that feel? Is that a comfortable length for you? Went and had a golf lesson at the age of 20 and six years later, having travelled through the, uh, the professional trainee system to become a professional member of the PGA, I was a fully qualified member. Them. We've got the 300cc obviously which is the tour player head, it's a bit more forgiving uh, and it comes in a range of flexes as well, medium, firm and stiff so for big brutes like yourself um, they'll be perfect. Excellent. Is it going to go really far and really straight? Absolutely guaranteed. Hmm. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, could I have three games of 18 holes please? Certainly, which course would you like? I'll uh, have the old course, please. Thank you, there's your change. Thank you. Have a good day. See ya. Wembley Pro Shop. Good morning, this is Peter. Yes, sir. Uh, is that the beginner's classes or the second level? I like the outdoors. I like being outside. I don't like being stuck behind a desk. Good morning, how are you? Morning. Good, uh, thank you. Are you playing nine holes or 18 today? Nine holes today. Nine holes. And what name were you booked under? Uh, Bia. Bia. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. It's okay, thank you. I spend a lot of time driving around the golf course, uh, making sure people are doing the right thing, hoping that they're enjoying their game and trying to make their game a much more, or their day a much more pleasant trip around our golf course. Quite often I'll be here of a morning or an afternoon before or after my working hours and uh, I'll be giving a few lessons. Just close that hand up, bring your right hand in and just bring it in from there so that that sits over top a little bit more. That's pretty good. Okay, now what I've got to do is make some adjustments to your posture. Basically, to me, you're standing a little bit too far away from the ball. So if you can set your feet to shoulder width, stand up straight and just rest the club up against your body. Cool. What I want you to do is tilt forward, stick your backside out, keep your back very straight, bend your knees just a bit, and now drop the club to the ground. That is basically the distance you should be from the ball, which you'll probably feel is quite a lot closer than you have been. It's a good putt, Luke. And one more. As you can see, just as it's dying in speed, it's, it's turning to the left. So if you just aim it a little further out to the right, We need you to open the club face that way, so we don't set it that way. You're going to set it that way. I need your feet to sit on an angle more that way. So move this way, back this way a touch. Club face now will point at our target. You can move further away to give yourself a bit more room. And you're going to swing the club along that line of your feet rather than necessarily towards the target. Bunker looks to be in a particularly bad state of repair. I better go and rake that before someone's ball goes in there and they get a bit angry. I think I should probably tell Jane that Thomas really liked that golf club that he was trying in the shop this morning. I'm sure he will have already spoken to her about it, but uh, I better tell her that he really should have it because it looked perfect for him. Oh, this old club it needs a little bit of uh, needs a little bit of work doing to it. It's sort of been sitting around in one of the high bags for a while. It could do with a bit of a touch up. Give it a bit of a polish and a new grip. Quite a pretty blue grip we're going to put on this one too. A lot of people are quite envious of my job here and I think they probably should be too because it is, it's a good, it's a good job to be in. 